My name is Dan Kananik. I'm an educator. Through my 15 years of being a teacher, the most common subject that comes up is food. So what herbs do your dads, moms, grandparents use at home? Uh, I love the Green Industries course. More than anything, it's about connecting kids with what's around them. A lot of kids don't know where their fruits and vegetables come from, so just to have a base to start and understanding the seasons and stuff like that, it really helps. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Is that a good ooh? And I'm yeah. always happily amazed at how many have not had the opportunity to sort of dig in the dirt and get their hands dirty, and they love it. It's like, here's another potato. Here's another potato. It's like two hours later, here's another potato. Can you guys identify which plants are in here, do you think? Well, this is our aquaponics room, also known as uh, biofiltration yep. systems. The fish waste is being produced by the fish. But it's the waste from the fish that actually becomes the nutritional value for the plants. So look at the color of the water already. But do notice how quickly this is cleaning up. <laughs> Greenhouse is very important to us. This is full year. This is all the time. Start taking notes right now on some of the things that we did and getting ready for homework for tonight. So we have these really pleasant excuses to experience and explore mathematics in a different way, chemistry in a different way, physics in a different way. And all these bells and whistles start going off. There's, some, there's a lot of magic that goes on there. But for me, it's always been about a bigger concept, which is connection. So we'll take these two, get them to chef, and see what he thinks. The biggest one would be our connection with, with George Restaurant. So we went up, we took a look, it was amazing, like what he's growing there and, and what the kids are doing and, and how they're involved. But bottom line, we're producing good stuff. So good that it could be sold to one of the top restaurants in North America. He asked me what I want, I'm like, just whatever you like. We forgot carrots out, the beets were spectacular. Uh, peppers, eggplants, kale. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Dill flowers, fennel flowers. Oregano, thyme, tarragon. Lots of Swiss chard, which I'm not a fan of, so I told him maybe take it easy on the Swiss chard. <laughs> But aside from that, the like bottom line is uh, it tastes better. But for a chef of Chef Lorenzo's stature to say, what you are doing is good, that is a great lesson for a high school student. I'm proud of all you guys for everything you're doing. It just opened so many doors for me that I never even thought about before. When I've got graduates who aren't in the program anymore coming just to help because they want to be back around that environment, that tells me something and hopefully I can maybe solve some of the urban problems we're facing today. Dan himself provides a great learning experience because I'm learning when I'm talking to him. <laughs> As a teacher, the best part of my job is how I get to learn things every day. They are in class to learn, but what they're actually doing is teaching. They're teaching each other and they're teaching me a whole heck of a lot every day. I don't know what I'm gonna learn tomorrow, but I can't wait to find out what that is. I learned that there's more than one way to get uh, kids to love Brussels sprouts. <laughs>